Hey, whiskey lovers. I'm joined today by bourbon legend Al Young, and we're talking about yeast. A lot of bourbon lovers uh, pay careful attention to the mash bill, and that does affect things. Uh, but I understand Four Roses uses five different yeast strains. Can you tell us why? We use five different yeast strains because that gives, a, gives us a greater variety of bourbon offerings. You're right about the mash bills. We've got one that's high in corn and the other's high in the rye. But when you mix them with one of those five yeast codes, the yeast is a crazy little organism that produces flavor and aroma. Now you referred to yeast codes. So here we have two bottles. I see they have very similar codes. We've got OESO and OESV. So for those who don't have their little Four Roses de decoder ring, uh, tell me, what do the O and the V represent? Because that seems to be the only difference that we're looking at. Well, here. the V is supposed to represent delicate fruitiness, and the O is supposed to recognize robust fruitiness. So those are or two different stronger fruitiness. Okay, two different yeast strains doing two different things. But they're also involved with the same grain menu. Okay. So I thought it would be fun to see the difference in the two whiskeys. That sounds like, it's like a great they're, idea. Because they're uh, uh, approximately of the same proof. Yep, almost the same proof, almost the same age. Really, the main difference here is two different yeasts. Exactly. All right, so wh which one do we start with well, first? Well, I think now? we should probably start with the OESV first. Okay. Now, these are both about nine years of age, so there is some oak and sweetness there, but I'm getting sort of a, like a stone fruit, like a subtle sort of stone fruit peachiness or something? Yeah. It, am I tasting that right? What do you, what are you getting? That's what here? I'm getting. I'm getting the stone fruits, uh, the peaches, maybe, maybe a slight hint of apricot, mm -hmm. you know, something that, that, uh, is a little bit more subtle than you might think. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you're not being overpowered by the fruit, of course, you're being more overpowered by the flavor and the aroma. And I think we're both going about it this, the right way. When you come up to taste, keep your mouth and your nose aware of what's going mm -hmm. on at the same time. And it will give you the full benefit of the complexity of that whiskey. It's a lovely whiskey. So let's see what the O does differently. Sure. Well, I'm going to say on the aroma, that's definitely much bolder and much fruitier to start with. It is. Yeah. It is. Incredibly different. It's fun to be able to taste them on their own and see just how much impact yeast has, but for most Four Roses bottlings, do you then combine multiple yeast strains? In, in the Four Roses, 80 proof, they're combined, and in the small batch, it's a combination of four bourbons, spicy and fruity, with both mash bill. And in the single barrel, of course, it's all the product of one barrel. And in that case, it happens to be the high rye content with that first product we had, that yeasty, uh, okay. Uh, a bee yeast. Well, it's one more fun thing that shapes the world of bourbon. So you could choose high rye bourbon, wheat bourbon, look at the mash bill, but it's definitely worth looking at the yeast culture as well.